Hello YouTube people, how are you doing? <laughs> Today I made a small compilation about my G-Shock watch. Uh, all those stupid tests I've done to my G-Shock until I finally killed it. Let's try fixing it. Another day, another test. It looks perfect. Okay, do your best. Throw it to this door. Oh. Wait a second. Okay, you can do it. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's strong. Okay. Does it still work? Oh, look. It looks perfectly fine. <laughs> Looks kind of, oops, looks kind of funny. I can't see if it still works. Okay, let's let's try to defrost it. Oh look, it works just fine. Here's my G Look. And it is perfectly fine. G-Shock, unbeatable. After teaching my G-Shock how to fly, this star stop button, it is not responsive anymore. It is bent, it is damaged. My job is to straighten it out. Okay, the G-Shock is finished now. Here it is, it works perfectly fine. It's so frozen. And Okay, let's defrost it. Okay, it has even beeped because an hour has passed. It's nine, it's 21 hours now. <laughs> Just look at this beauty. Oh my god, this watch is awesome. Today I'm going to boil my G Shock for exactly one minute. Yep. <laughs> My wife disagrees with this idea. Okay, just one minute. I doubt it. Oh, it is beeping. It is boiling and beeping. Ah, it's hot. Ah, hot. It actually beeped itself on one minute timer. Can you imagine that? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here it is. <laughs> Imagine this is this is your hand. Let's put it on. And beat it a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. As my shoe. Let me see. If it fits on my leg. Ow. <laughs> How is it doing? Still fine. Oh, 
Okay, let's inspect the damage. <sighs> My G-Shock is very dirty, so why not just throw it in together with my clothes? Okay, the G-Shock is on top and... And it is fine. How G-Shock is going to respond to the magnet? Here I have this magnet. Okay, you wanna see that. It clearly makes no difference. Okay. Can I lift the magnet with the G-Shock? It's so, so close. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> and... Everything is fine. Plastic pipe. Okay. Yep. It looks like, yep, it, it's done. Uh, it was awesome watch. I quite enjoyed it. It was looking good on my hand. It was fitting my personality pretty well. It was not too shiny, but it was a very good watch. Uh, well, that being said, it had its problems. Actually, two major problems. All G-Shock squares have those uh, little tiny uh, buttons, which are very hard to press. And I had problems with those buttons, which were very annoying. For example, when I was timing my runs, and imagine you are running towards the finish line, and you want to sprint a little, right? And okay, here's the finish line, and you press the button, and oops, you press it again. No, you press it again, and on the from the third time, let's say you actually you actually stop the the timer. So, so that was that annoyance. It was actually unusable for this kind of thing, because well, first of all, you're running, you're you're moving, and you're trying to press the button, and you have to do that with your nail. Okay, <laughs> no more about that. It was a failure of design of in, in, in Square G-Shock. Either you like it or you hate it. <laughs> I, either you don't care about it. Never, nevertheless. Okay, another thing which was a little bit annoying to me. Uh, I had uh, a lot of digital cheap watches from eBay, which I haven't paid more than 5 euros right and they all were uh, good looking watches and uh, well waterproof and pretty pretty tough as well you can beat them around they're not afraid of water and yes those were cheap eBay watches for under five euros no brands basically and the thing is when you, I paid well, I don't know, 70 euros for that G-Shock right uh, I have good memories about that watch, but one thing was uh, which bothered me all the time. It felt like it was made with an X out of an old tire. It was rough. I mean, it's quality product, everything is fine with it, but I mean honestly, the way that uh, top layer, that bezel was set on the watch, uh, the way that bottom of that bezel was cut, and many other small things, it was, I'm, I'm serious, it was, it felt like it was made with an axe and a pair of scissors. Uh, so it never felt like it was 70 euros watch. I understand that's not a lot of money, 
but if you compare that with all those cheap watches from eBay that's a huge difference in price like 10 times okay and yeah you have that G-Shock badge G-Shock style and all the history of G-Shock but it always felt like you paid exactly for that for the badge and I do understand there is a lot of engineering behind that watch I do respect that and all but the finishing of the watch it never felt like it was well made watch yeah it, it felt like it was tough watch you can beat it it felt that it can actually take any kind of beating and be fine with it but it was rough around the small things right starting from the buttons ending with the edges of the bezel being sharp and, and all that so what's next will i do another series with another watch uh no i'm not going to buy another g-shock to destroy it i believe i have proven it that the g-shock is very tough uh, it can take all sorts of all kinds of beating and be fine with it and there is no reason to kill another G-Shock, okay? Uh, G-Shocks are good watches, there is no reason to kill them. <laughs> Let them live. And, but honestly, will I buy another G-Shock? I don't know about that. I currently have uh, three watches, my three main watches. I have dress watch, dress Casio, which I'm going to make video about. I have uh, my diver, which I'm gonna make video about too, and I have my cheap eBay watch, which I have paid four euros for, and it is solar powered. It has solar pa panels, and it's my beta watch. I run with it. I go to the gym with it, and that's it. That's my three watches. I'm gonna make videos about each of them, and I honestly don't feel the need for another watch right now I don't really need my G-Shock unless I gonna sell my diver which I have some issues with this watch but I'm gonna tell those issues in the next video about about this watch so here is that goodbye